What's going on, guys, and welcome back to Pete's Carport. First thing, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. It's been an awesome week for me. Had some time off with the family, and today I get to work on the 1967 Mercedes 200D. So I'm excited. The weather's awesome, and we're going to talk about something that I, I honestly knew nothing about diesels when I bought this car, and so far, if you've been watching the channel, we've gotten the car started by jumping the starter, and now we can actually start it from the inside, and now it's time to start fine-tuning this car, and I've just been doing research and research. Today, we're going to talk about how this diesel filters air, and it's a very important thing, and it's going to help make this car run better as well as a uh, lot less smoke is going to be occurring that we've noticed when we're starting the vehicle up. And it's very important that this runs properly. So let's get into it. I'm going to talk about how this works and what it is. So let's first get started about um, talking about what this actually is, because this is not your standard uh, paper filter that most of you guys, even you car guys out there, are familiar with. Um, this is an old style oil bath system, and um, I'm going to explain that to you if you don't know what that is, and if you do know what that is, and you're looking for ways of cleaning this out, um, like I was completely confused on what this even was, I was trying to research um, new air filters, because um, we're going to be doing a whole, um, basically, tune-up of this, changing out our fuel, fuel filters, which there's a few of those as well. We're going to be changing out our oil filter, oil, and I wanted to change out the air filter and get this thing idling and running a lot smoother than it is. And also, um, if you're not familiar with this, diesels will smoke like crazy, and I thought um, what we were seeing during startup was more normal, but... You can see here there is a hose that runs right from your um, right from your valve cover here around, and it goes right to this air box, which was not installed in the car. It was in the trunk of the car. So let's open this up, and I'm going to explain this to you for those of you that are not familiar with this. And I am explaining this through research that I did on my own. I spent probably five hours just searching, searching, searching. I couldn't find a single video that explained how to clean out um, your basically your oil bath completely. Most of them just show dumping out the oil and refilling the oil. And um, what I was interested in, this car has been sitting for so long, is actually cleaning out the mesh filter that is not replaceable unless you purchase a whole new system up under there. It is not something you change out. So basically the way this system works is it connects to your throttle body like most air filters will, even on the most modern cars. Um, my hose is broken, so we're going to be purchasing a new one of those. From there, um, that's where the clean air is going to go back in, but you're, you're basically cleaning out dirty air coming into the bottom here, and then it percolates uh, much like a uh, water percolating system, but it percolates through oil, and that oil will collect the smoke and dust and then put clean air back into the engine. So it's kind of a cool system. The reason why uh, it, we quickly went away from this is because it is very messy, very smelly, uh, but a lot of people argue that this is a much better system and produces a, uh, a better running, uh, cleaner car. And so I don't know much about that, that argument, but obviously we're not going to switch this system over. There, you can do that. There's a lot involved in that. But what I'm going to show you today is what I found to be the best way to clean this out doing research. And what we're going to do is, basically, there's clips that go around here. We're going to take this and remove this, and we're going to uh, use a bucket. Um, I might need to grab a bigger bucket, but I grab this for now. And we're going to use carb cleaner. And um, people online will talk about using uh, kerosene, gasoline, and um, found gentlemen saying carb cleaner works the best. And a lot of people um, use this on all sorts of parts. The one thing that we're going to want to make sure we do is let this dry out prior to reinstalling. And so what we're going to be doing is cleaning out the old oil, which we don't have any in there, but we're going to wipe that whole system out. I'm also going to be sanding down and painting this before putting it back in. We're going to use a high temperature paint, which I have around here. And I wanted to show you something really quick because I'm going to be doing a video in the near future of cleaning this all down. 
Um, I tried a couple different things, engine degreaser, uh, simple green, and nothing was really getting it um, back to the color. And you can see here, I just sprayed some of this uh, carb cleaner, and you can see how nasty it was up there and just sprayed it here and just wiped it. So it looks like this carb cleaner might be the best for cleaning down um, some of these parts in here that have been just oxidized and covered with dirt and grime. So let's get to cleaning um, our mesh filter out with the carb cleaner. We're going to let it sit out and dry and then we're going to go ahead and, and prep and paint the, uh, the oil box. All right. So the final step after we've went ahead and um, put our oil bath filter back into the car, I've got the, um, I actually went down to Lowe's and picked up this because the original one had, you know, cracked and fell off. And this actually does work if you, if I manipulate some things in here. So I'm very happy about that because it's like seven bucks versus a replacement part, which is super hard to find, can be um, upwards of a hundred dollars. So a lot better to replace it with that, in my opinion, and eventually... Um, if I want to switch over to uh, find one on eBay or something I might switch over to that But let me show you real quick because I've got this lightly mounted in here just so I can maneuver things But um, to fill this back up. Um, I went down and got some uh, just some 15w uh, standard Rotello um, Diesel oil and from what I found online you pretty much just use what you're using in your car I'm probably gonna go with a synthetic um, I'm gonna do a lot more research once we change out this oil but uh, I picked this up as just a way to get this started. Um, but if you look down in here, um, and I found this online, that there's markings of where to fill this up. There's a red ring or an orange ring that goes all the way around, and that's kind of where you want to fill this up to. And um, so if you look at this arrow here, I think that that's telling you that this is the high, and this is the normal. Um, and so I'm guessing you never go over that this area here, but you're good filling it right up to that orange line. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that up and that kind of completes this video on what an oil bath filter is, how to clean it out properly, and then how to replace and fill the oil in it. And as you can see here, the line that runs, oh, let me move this, from your, um, right from your engine here uh, on your valve cover runs down and runs right into the air box and that kind of percolates and then you've got fresh air that comes in here and um, everything kind of circulates and gets cleaned off and um, goes back into the engine so you end up with a lot cleaner running engine. As you can see, I kind of started to clean down the engine um, and I'm gonna show that in another episode. And so I've got a lot of videos coming out on this car because I'm moving very quickly and just trying to film what I can. Hopefully this helps anybody out there because uh, I had no idea what this thing was and it, it took me hours and hours of research to figure out exactly how to uh, maintenance this and then fill this. And I was getting ready to order a paper filter thinking that I just dropped a paper filter into there. And uh, this is uh, a way to, to basically maintain this and understand it a little bit. My name's Peter. This is Pete's Carport. I really hope this helped you guys out. This is a 67 Benz 200D Fintail. And this is the oil bath, how to clean and maintain it. Have a great day, guys, and Happy New Year's.